think there's a kitty in the box. Oh, there's kitties in the box. <laughs> you want me to mail you two to Abu Dhabi? Phoebe's like over there, like, yes, it's about time we got rid it's about time we're getting rid of them. <laughs> you two have any fun inside the box? It's getting windy outside. Oh, it's an amber. It was an amber. Are you girls having fun in the box? Because there's like minutes, I don't know how to get out. Let me try it. Whoa! Cashmere, you scared your sister right out of the box. Are you okay, Amber? <laughs> oh, even you got scared. I can see your tail. It's all poofy at the, the base. You little scary kitty. Why don't you walk into the room so everyone can see how big you are? Yep, she's prankers. What? She's prankers and she knows it. <laughs> yep. Any day now. Right, Princess Phoebe? You're pretty to me and everyone else, no matter what size you are. You're a skinny little kitty, which you always are. And seven and a half pounds, or the way you are right now, I think almost 11, or maybe at 11 now. We need to weigh you again and find out. And there you can see she kind of looks like a football. Larry, like she swallowed. <laughs> She's like, oh, please. Yay. How many kitties are we going to have this time? Uh, it's going to be somewhere between three and five. The most you ever had is four, which was last year. And this is it, Missy. No more. So, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> who's giving me a who's the proud mama? Who's the proud mama? That's right, you are. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's all for now. She's gonna you know, we can let her rest. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt the vlog. Um, so basically what you're about to see is the attempted birth of Phoebe's final litter. Um, if you ever see a cat in this condition, get her to the vet immediately or if it's your cat because um, the cat's life and the life of the, of the, of the kittens are, are in jeopardy. So the sooner you get them to the vet, the better. Um, I'm glad I did. I don't remember if I called the vet because I was more curious. Uh, what's, what's going on, or if I just took her, but I'm, I'm so glad I did. And if I didn't, um, Phoebe and none of her night or her night kittens wouldn't be here right now. So, um, just watch this, just watch this right now, and you'll see. So, once again, yeah, please, if you ever see a cat like in this in this state, please get them to a vet as soon as possible. Thank you. Here comes the first kitten. Tell, but that's a little bubble, a little black bubble. 
down there. Oh, good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Phoebe. It's okay. I'm doing good. Push if you have to. Push. It's okay. It's okay. Can you take a look? Oh, boy. Phoebe, you're going to labor. Get in there. You can't walk much further, so lay down. Oh my god. What is that? Okay, so we're back from the vet. Um, she had nine kittens, that's a record for her. She's like, most she's ever had is four, so I'm kind of shocked right now. And she actually had to have a, a C-section. And so she's still a little out of it. I don't know if she'll let me let you see. But, yeah, it's basically, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. So, yeah, she's been spayed now. So she won't, give me, won't be giving birth to any more kittens. It's okay, it's okay. She's tired. And she's slightly out of it, like I said. And so here we are, nine kittens. Nine, nine kittens. Don't know what we're gonna do with nine kittens. <laughs> they're like, they're like a tiny, really cute. I'm gonna change their bedding a little bit. If she's, if she was in mine. And she is so exhausted, poor thing. And I'm gonna make it even worse. She can't have any water, food or water, until tomorrow. I just want to give her water so badly, but I know I can't. For your safety, you can drink tomorrow. Oh, she's leaning on me. That's her way of giving me a hug. So there we go. Phoebe's final litter. Never again. So she's given birth to, as far as we know, a total of 17 kittens. And this was the last one on April 26, 2012. <laughs> okay, so it's been about, let's see, today is Sunday night, morning, sorry, Sunday morning. Um, they were born on Friday morning, uh, afternoon I should say. The 27th. Uh, it's been a it's been a hard. It was a hard like first. Um, I would say like 36 hours, maybe even 48 hours. Especially those 24 hours, and wasn't sure if the kids were gonna survive because Phoebe was completely out of it after operation, and she actually was on the other side of the room underneath my bed. She will have nothing to do with her kittens. But um, I thought they were, and she couldn't even feed them because she was in so much pain for her little operation. I don't know if you can see right there. <laughs> it's okay, it's just a camera, remember? See? Then every time um, she would feed, um, she was actually, um, the kids would tear her open and start bleeding. Uh, so she couldn't even feed, and so I had to run out to Walmart like at 3 o'clock in the morning and buy kitten formula, and so I, I fed each of them like three, three times, and just after the third time, um, she heard me feeding them, because, you know, they cry a lot, like, it's like, great, why are you picking me up, and all that other stuff. Why is this having so much trouble focusing? And soon afterwards, um, she took over, and everything's been fine. It looks like we're out of the woods for now. And hopefully for the rest of this duration and as you can see she had nine kittens which is the record for her the so most she's ever had before was was four and the least amount she ever had was one <laughs> it's really strange but here you go she has nine kittens so 
is um, she's had a total of eight before, so she's doubled the amount of if just one sitting plus one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna name them yet. I just wanna make it through the week before I name them. I'm sure all of them can buy, but I just don't wanna jinx it. So I'm gonna name them on in a few days from now. But everyone is doing good. I believe it was four boys, or five boys, and four girls. The black one here, I don't know if you can barely see him, he's a boy. Two calico girls, calicos are actually are obviously girls, because most, I don't know if you know this, but most calicos are girls, like 99% of them. It's rare to have a boy calico. Um, so that's it for now. Keep you updated. Anything you want to say to the internet? No? Good night for now. Yeah, you're a great mama. Good night. Uh, I forgot to mention that um, after they were born and I brought them home, that you, um, you don't know if you know this, but kittens need warmth of the, the mother. Uh, they, they can't regulate their own body heat for quite some time. So um, the next thing I had to do was I got a what do you call those things? A water, not a water heater, but um, a heating pad, and I wrapped it in a um, towel to best mimic a warm mother cat, and I put it in there with them for like the longest time, and I fed them like like every two hours. I didn't sleep. Every two or three hours, I really didn't sleep. I just. And if I did, it was only for like 30 minutes at a time or an hour at a time. And I was just constantly attending to her kids because, like I said, baby was out of it. <clears throat> but yeah, don't forget, um, if this ever happens to your cat, that you have to find a way to keep the kids warm. And not too, you know, they, have to, they still have to have a way to get away from the heat source. Um, so what I did was like I wrapped it up, and like, like I said, in a blanket. Uh, in a towel actually, and I put it on one end of the of the box to mimic like her her warm body, and the other side was was just fine. Um, also, was very lucky that it was in the middle of of April, so it was actually quite warm at that time. But you know, it was a, quite a struggle. But as you can see, it's kind of, it's quite worth it. And this isn't Phoebe; this is one of her daughters. And as far as I know, all you know, the rest of them are healthy and happy and still alive. It was a lot of work and a lot of effort, but it, it's worth it. And now back to the vlog. I don't know if you can see this, but it's really hard to make out, but there's two kids cuddling together right there. I don't know if just lost power there for a second. I guess my battery's dying. So basically, it was the same when I do this with my hand like that. You can see them oh, when I stand still. Well, let's see. There we go. Shadow. Light. Okay, this one doesn't want to play. But um, usually, when I do that to the other kids, they start, they start squinting like, "Hey, it's bright." <laughs> Hello. I haven't given them any names yet this time. Yet. Um, usually, but like within the first few hours or days, I give them names, but I've decided to wait until their eyes open. Um, so this time, their names are going to be celestial based, since this he the since this letter was heavenly sent, and it feels like a higher power is watching over her in her letter, because she's never given birth to this many kids before, and it was a lot of work. For all of us, she almost died and her letter. Thankfully, she's spayed now. So, no more. This will be her last one. Aw, uh, did you see that? Her eyes open. His eyes open. Or your uh, his. I can't remember your boy or girl. There's so many of you. I just say it. His for now. Or hers. I don't know. His. Aw, 
they're so cute. Yes. Too bad the closet has such bad lighting, huh? So that's what that noise is. I've been wondering. I can hear it all the way from my bed at night. I thought it was just them feeding. So it turns out it's just them grooming and cleaning themselves. Yay. Hi, Dan, I don't want to be grab. Oh my god, they're trying to clean themselves. Wow. And I really thought that came later. So I guess that means I'll be getting asthma attacks soon. So we know uh, I'm mostly immune to her and the rest of the cats saliva. I am not immune to other cats, especially when they start cleaning themselves. I start having asthma attacks like crazy because I'm not used to it. Like, yeah, crazy. Not just crazy, crazy. Like, oh. Do you remember how many it was last time for me? About what? Two or three times a day? But I'm always fine. It's most of the time I don't have to use an inhaler, I just have to relax. Okay, I guess I'll let you get back to your feeding and I'm gonna get back to my cleaning. Hi little one. Yes, I'm your grandpa. Are you trying to find your mom? She's behind you. Okay. Do you wanna say anything to the internet? Your viewers? No. Okay. Well, it's time for your medicine. Let it go.